Hi there, John from Polygon Emporium here. This week's video is about floating geometry. You would typically use this technique if you have some geometry that might be unusual or that you just can't easily fake it through hard surface or alphas in your painting package. So let's have a look. Here's a little scene I've set up. We've got this kind of high poly piece here, of like a girders kind of section. And then we've got these little widgets here, kind of like a um, screwdriver hole. And if I just click off it for a second, they look like they're part of that girder, which is the effect that we want to achieve. If I rotate round, you can see that they're actually floating above. This is the floating geometry thing. So the reason it's done like that is because, well, it, it would be really hard I'd be cursing like crazy if I was trying to actually make this part of the girder itself and um, kind of mesh it in and so on. I'd probably get myself into a horrible mess. So this is the next best thing um, to kind of do it as separate pieces of geometry and let the baking package know about this and it will just take care of it. Um, so that's what we're planning to achieve. So I've got this low poly plane that I've just kind of made. I've actually named it, so panel low, and this piece I've called panel high, and this I've just left as, as they are. So, um, and I created this just, these are all high poly, so I just used uh, subdivisions and crease sets and stuff to get what I wanted. Okay, so let's export this stuff. Uh, we'll start with the easiest bit first, the, the low poly plane. And uh, I've created a little folder here, so we'll call this, uh, low geo test. Okay, and export that. And then I'll just grab all of my high stuff that I want to export. And call this high geo test. Okay. So let's try baking this in Substance. So I'm in Substance Painter and I have loaded in my low poly plane. Just gonna go into Bake and I'm gonna switch everything off. It's set to normal. Um, and we'll set this to 2048. Uh, we'll select our high geo test and we'll just bake it as it is. So nothing's come through. This is because the ray distance from the start and end is too short. Uh, if you remember, the high poly is actually quite high off the plane, plus the flow to geometry as well. So uh, the max frontal distance here will increase the distance from where the rays start and where the rays end. So if I just pull these up, it's kind of trial by error. So you kind of move these guys and just see what you get, move them up a bit more. Um, hopefully this will capture everything. Yep. Okay, so that seems to have worked really well. Uh, so we've got our normal map bake. These guys look like they're sunk now into the girder shape, which is what we wanted. Let's um, switch one of the other things on, the ambient occlusion, and we'll just bake that as well. Okay, so that introduced the problem. You may have noticed as it was doing it, it's less obvious here, but we've got a shadow. It's essentially self-shadowing uh, around the edge of our geometry. So we don't actually want this kind of extra shadow. It's quite subtle, but it's there uh, because this is meant to be sunk in. So it shouldn't be casting any kind of shadow information here. So if we go to back to our base map, bake maps and go to ambient occlusion, uh, there's a little section here for self-occlusion. It's set to always at the moment, but if we set it to only say mesh name, and if you remember, I named my high poly plane underscore high, my low poly plane underscore low, but these guys I kind of just left. So they don't really match with anything. Uh, so this way it's only going to do self-occlusion for things that match. So if we go off and bake that, and you'll see there's the AO. Um, now we don't get that shadow information. So it solves that problem. Now you might have some occasions where you want to jump into, let's go into Maya here again, um, 
adding some geometry that maybe is sticking out. That might happen. Um, I'm going to put these, I've put those low down, but I'm going to put them up so you can kind of see what actually happens a bit more and make sure, actually we won't worry about that, but my what I would do with this kind of geometry is I'd always mesh it into this. I mean, by that I mean actually combine it, not actually mesh it physically in. Um, so I kind of put it to the surface and so on and and allow it uh, to be baked as part of this mesh, which is panel or high. And then this stuff will still be kind of ignored. It won't match with anything. So therefore, that's still set not to self-occlude. Uh, so with this, it's I'm going to actually combine it. So panel high is what I want to name this. So I'm going to grab these, shift right click and combine. Okay. And delete our history. Uh, just rejig this pivot to, whoa, try to rejig the pivot to here. There we go. That's where it was before. And then just make sure the name matches the low poly name. Okay, so it's panel underscore high. And we will re-export this, including these components. High geo test. And then we'll go back into Painter and we will rebake. I'm going to try it without resetting this. Hopefully, it will just pick it up. Uh, and hopefully, this will just work. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, it has. So, this these components don't match with anything, they remain the same, they don't add anything, uh, any extra shadow information. Um, so they are what, how we want to see them. These, because they're above the surface, there is some shadowing information that's appearing around, which we would want. So that's the key. Uh, combine those with mesh, anything extruding out of, of stuff, combine it with the other mesh to get shadowing information. These guys uh, will be ignored, but you just must make sure that you turn on the only same mesh name for self-occlusion to make sure that happens correctly. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. Um, okay, that's it for this video. If you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe. This is John saying thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.